Hello, how are you all doing? Welcome to this InLoy tutorial. In this InLoy tutorial, I'm going to um, sort of copy the tutorial that InLoy, the InLoy guys and girls have recently done, which is the cutout. Um, and I'm just going to sort of do a few tweaks or a few changes to it, do it my way. I'm going to sort of do it in um, in three three stages. And, um, and this is the image I'm going to use right here. I will put a link to this image in the description if you want to use this image. I'm using this image um, because it's, it's quite busy and I, and I think it'll stand there. It's a free stock image. Um, but they sort of suggest that step one, um, that you color the background. I will put um, the description of how to color the background of any image in the description below so just follow that step I've done it before in, in tutorials before it's quite straightforward but I don't believe that you do need to color the background you can um, you can choose and just you know if you've got a picture of you and your your mates then just use your own background um, or the one that's already in the image but um, so that will be in the description anyway so so the first sort of step that I'm gonna do on this one I'm gonna um, let me just go back and I'll do that again I did that a little bit quick I'm gonna tap the tap the screen to open my tools I'm then gonna go to canvas and I'm gonna crop this image down so I don't want it as with as many people so nothing against this lady on the left hand side two ladies on the left hand side I'm just gonna crop this image and um, and likewise with the one on the right um, I just want to make the image um, a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on with the tutorial okay so now what we're gonna do I'm just gonna close that canvas down and I'm gonna go to um, to artistic and I'm gonna go to urban to tools and then basic and what you need to do is sort of mess about with the threshold so I'm gonna select the threshold right here and you notice it, it can make it really white and that's a good way to um, to color the color the background of the image you could do it do it like that um, but I'm just going to turn this threshold sort of leave it here and it's not just the thresholds that you need to mess about with you also need to look at the restore so the obviously restoring the image is going to restore it to normal but I don't want to restore it to normal I want to sort of get some of the image detail back and then once I've got my restore so I've got some of the image detail back I'm going to look at the the smooth and this would smooth out the blacks or the sorry the whites and, and really smooth the image out but I want to like sort of um, um, sharpen the image a little bit so take away the smooth and then we can have a look at the restore um, and the threshold again just to get um, the sort of effect that we want one thing I would say don't concentrate on the people in the background concentrate on the person that you want to make the um, the cutout um, sort of effect with okay so then I'm gonna go to mask and I'm gonna tap clear and then automatically my apply brush um, two from the bottom left will um, will be highlighted blue to show that I can now wipe my finger across the image and apply the effect that we just created um, in the steps previous so I'm going to do this quite carefully while I'm zoomed out like so. But what I could do is pinch and squeeze on my screen. So to just color the image in. Don't worry too much if you do go over the edge. Because as I've done in many tutorials before, we could just deselect the apply. Select the wipe and, um, and remove any of the edges that you've gone over. Okay, so you notice I'm not going to do every single individual hair like this one. Um, so I'm just going to wipe, deselect the clear, and just wipe. So I'm not going to do every single um, single strand of hair. But when I get to the edges, some of the edges, I am going to try and be quite careful. And I do this by zooming in closer. Just moving across the image. Sure. at all of the parts of the image that I want to get like look on the neck here I've gone over a little bit so I'm going to deselect the apply select the wipe sorry not deselect the apply just select the wipe and, um, and just wipe away that part 
just zoom out, pinch and squeeze and zoom out and look at the image, am I happy? Not entirely, do you want to do this part here? I'm selecting wipe, so I've reselected the apply. Once I'm happy that I have, um, I have applied that effect to the part of the image that I want to do that to, I'm gonna click the little tick button in the top right hand side to say yes, I'm happy and accept those changes. Simple as that. Okay, let's move on to um, on to part two, um, which is the um, applying the tilt shift. So I'm going to tap the screen screen again. I'm going to go to tools, and I'm going to tilt shift. So right away, you look at the bottom. I have starting from the bottom left. I have shape. I have position invert and intensity. All we want to concern ourselves with at the moment is this position, as long as it's a circle like so, I'm quite happy and I can put my finger in the center of the circle and um, and move this image around. You notice also, I have these anchor points and I'm just it just smoothens out the edges of the effect and I'm going to drag them out a little bit in order to do that and then place my circle over the part of the image that I want to emphasize and then just open, just pinch and squeeze and make the circle a little bit bigger. Then I'm gonna to go to intensity on the right hand side once I'm happy with the size. And I'm just gonna turn up the intensity of the blur. And if I go back to position now, it's gonna make this circle a little bit smaller. So once I'm happy with the size and intensity of the blur that I'm going to use. Again, I'm just going to tick, press the little tick button, top right hand side. So now we're going to move on to part three. So part three is we're just going to apply um, some um, an analog filter, but go into the tools of the analog filter. So I'm just going to select filter, go analog. And then I'm going to select the tools at the bottom here and first I'm going to go to basic on the left hand side and I'm just going to increase the structure of the um, of the filter what you notice this brightens up the dark parts if you look on this left hand side down here it'll brighten up these dark parts of the image so I'm just going to increase the structure a little bit and then going to go to the saturation and increase the saturation and this will just really sort of punch the color make the color a little bit more um, a little bit better once i'm happy with that i'm going to go um tools tab again and then this time i'm going to go to film um now i'm going to mess about with the um the intensity and the spread oh sorry the intensity and the um and the fade so first and foremost i'm going to go to the fade I'm just going to increase the fade a little bit of this image and it sort of gives it a, um, it looks like it's got a, a film over the front of the image. So then I'm going to change and look at the intensity and the intensity just um, does exactly as it says on the tin, just intensifies the image. So if I go back to my fade and I turn my fade down, you can see more what the intensity is doing, um, it really raises the, um, the parts of the colours. So let's go back to fade again, because this is the order that we want to do it. Apply enough fade, I'm going around 69, 70, and then I'm gonna bring the intensity in a little bit later, just to sort of give it um, a 70s look, if you like, I suppose. Um, and then um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to tools again, and I'm gonna go to vignette. And then again with the intensity, I'm gonna turn up the intensity of the vignette. But let's have a look at the spread first. So let's make, make this spread. So I'm just darkening the edges. So I'm bringing this vignette in to darken the edges a little bit more. And then let's go intensity and ramp the intensity up of those. Let's have a look at transition. And yeah, so that's just sort of messing about with the, um, the, the, the shape of the vignette, if you like. And then could change the corners to bring the corners in, but it's going to leave the corners as they are. So for now, my intensity is on 70, probably put 85, and the spread of my vignette has, um, has gone up to 83. And that is as simple as the cutout effect is. You could apply another filter to it if you wanted. I suppose what you could do as well is go to image and adjust. 
and then we could look at this crisp and we could really make the the image nice and crisp so it would make the cutout effect more prominent let's have a look at what else we could do I'm just going to go through the um, through the preset and adjustments so I suppose Crayola you would um, you would improve the colors but you would take away that film so you can go with it as well darken the colors and ink print um, obviously you don't want everybody to be ink print in the image because that's the not the point of the cutout um, but yeah I, yeah okay so I would leave I would leave that um, that image adjustment and that's the way I would um, I would leave my image so I suppose we could finally we could add we could go to finalize so just tap my tools go to finalize let me get a border um, so yeah I'm just gonna look at these this board here um, any border it doesn't matter and um, just select the border and then we go to tools I'm gonna go to the width of the border and just turn the width down and then the spread which increases the inside of the border um, you can change the color if you want um, but yeah this is um, select the tick button say yes we're okay um, save that image out and that's that image saved out I'll show you that at the end these um, these images at the end with the 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 Polaroid and um, and and this model free stock image there I am going to get round to, to doing those quite soon um, but yeah thanks a lot for um, thanks a lot for your time have a good time catch you soon